bottle of beer, bottle of beer, right away, right away, a bottle of beer, ice cold bottle of beer, 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 what do you hear, what do you hear, give me a cheer, give me a cheer, right away, beer, 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 bottle of beer, give me a cheer, bottle of beer, bottle of cheer, beer, cheer, beer, cheer, what do you mean, wait till next year, you need a bottle of beer, a bottle of beer. How you doing? Is this my angle? Is this a good distance? Hey dudes, here it is. Your review of Dark Thrones Old Star, the new full length on Peaceville Records. Coming at you live from the cat poop dungeon. This place is still a wreck, but I'm not gonna stop shooting videos. I've had a lot of folks ask me to review Dark Thrones Old Star, and I already shot one review of it, and it got fucked up. I shot it in my car with the air conditioning running, blowing right past the uh, microphone. Ruined the whole thing. But upon listening to it three times in a row now, tonight, um, I think I've kind of had a change of heart about it. So I guess I'm gonna shoot a different review of it. Um, I don't know where to begin. So Dark Throne are one of my favorite bands have been since, there he is, the little demon that poops on the floor and doesn't know what a litter box is. Anyways, um, <laughs> Dark Throne are one of my favorite bands and it's because of the early black metal records. Now they lost me right around Ravishing Grimness, which I've gone back to and learned to love. And, um, uh, Plague Wielder, another one that I slept on. Hate Them, another one that I slept on. Even uh, Sardonic Wrath. Now, FOAD, Circle the Wagons, and it's another one in there that I don't have. They kind of lost me because they were referencing genres that I didn't really get or care for, didn't resonate with me. Um, and that's fine. I was able to let it go. Arctic Thunder came out and I was like, fuck yeah, they're back playing black metal, but I'm not going to make that mistake again. Arctic Thunder is something holy in itself. Um, and it's I, what I'm thinking of Dark Throne now as is kind of like a, almost like a heavy metal amusement park. And every year you go in and there's a different theme. FOAD was like the crusty kind of black metal punky record. Um, Circle the Wagons. I don't know. I don't even get that record. I was watching a review of this on Banger and he was saying Circle the Wagons fucking rules. Go back and check it out. And I've recently tried again to get into it. I bought it. I don't like it. I just don't get it. I think it's a fucking hot mess. Um, so I was super happy to hear Arctic Thunder find their footing again, um, and, and do that referencing of a genre or a style or like a kind of a micro niche era that they want to pay tribute to. So they're doing it again, and Old Star is even more classic, even more heavy metal, even kind of doomy, um, but also referencing genres that I'm micro genres and eras that I'm not super familiar with because they don't do a whole lot for me. Um, thankfully though, I think I'm starting to see in Old Star that there's less, um, I guess, emphasis on emulating artists and bands from yesteryear, um, though that's what they're doing. I think their personality in this kind of post everything era is that they're really starting to kind of build a new personality. And I'm hearing things that I'm like, that is Dark Throne, but it's not like early Dark Throne. And it, there's there's starting to be kind of a through line, I think, in the more modern era Dark Throne albums. Um, and that's something that just like resonated with me in the last few listens. So honestly, I was kind of like, yeah, I get it at first. It's a Doom record or it's a traditional kind of St. Vitus-y kind of record. Um, but it's really starting to grow on me. 
and I'm really starting to appreciate nuances in it that I didn't see were there before. <coughs> Killer packaging, of course. Um, I'm really stoked on that album cover. Um, or Arctic Thunder, I don't know what they were thinking with that, but, you know, Peace will do a decent job on this, of course. Um, there's, there's great riffs all over the place with it. Um, really, it's, if, if this were my wheelhouse, I would say this album is pretty godly. I mean, Dark Throne are a band that just kind of doesn't seem to have a misstep. And that's because they keep you misstepping every album trying to keep up with them. And you never really know what they're going to be doing other than referencing some kind of old style genre um, that they want you to understand and learn more about. The one thing I will say is though, even though I'm not super familiar with whatever it is they're specifically trying to allude to, or if there's like a band or an album that they wanted to kind of bring back to the forefront, I, it's lost on me. But having a distinct lack of clean vocals or traditional vocals to go along with that style, to me, it's kind of oil and water. Um, I get that it, like, that's kind of a part of, I think, what's Dark Throne's signature sound in these last handful of records, but I just, I just kind of think if you wanna, if you wanna push this trueness and authenticity and say like, we are the ones who are referencing 80s metal right and nobody else is doing it fucking right, I don't care. But if you're gonna do that, I think you should embrace the vocals. And I, I think a lot of bands tend to forget that. Like Nocturnal Breed will play fucking 80s speed metal but have black metal vocals going along with it. And if you think about what was the basis and what was the through line of a lot of those bands back in the 80s, and it was clean, soaring, fucking operatic, falsetto kind of vocals. And it seems like nobody yet still has the balls to really nail that stuff along with the style. I'm, I'm wrong. Visigoth is doing a really good job of it, um, but... You know, I would say, actually, they're playing kind of a more modern style of that classic metal. Um, I just don't think there's anybody, at least it comes to my mind, that's, like, just saying we're stuck in the 80s and we're singing like this. And at least not that's noteworthy in my uh, wheelhouse. Anyways, Old Star, named after a country buffet in Cobalton, from what I understand is pretty fucking good. Um, yeah, it's refreshing to hear them do something yet again a little different. Um, and it, I'm finding it to be a grower, I think. So that's my take on it. Um, I think everything else that I'm leaving out of this review, you all, you should already know, being that it's a Dark Throne record. Um, and being that it's a Dark Throne record, they deserve for you to pick up a copy of it. You know, they're one of the most tried and true, reliable bands in this day and age. Um, I, my only gripe with it is that it just kind of misses the mark with me being kind of like a heavy metal tour guide kind of band rather than still playing black metal. But honestly, if, if they had still been trying to recreate Transylvanian Hunger in 2019, I would have gotten sick of them a long time ago. So. I don't know what else I would say Dark Throne ought to be doing at this point, but that's it. Uh, it's a good record. Check it out. It is good. See you next time, and thank you for watching.